Hi everyone, so today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh leaves from Edward and this is a limited edition in 148 scale so kit number is 11172 and it's so called Spitfire Story Malta so it is dedicated to the Spitfire Mark 5B and Mark 5C and in 148 scale it should be quite an interesting build especially considering the fact that we have a dual combo here so it means you will be able to copy I guess both aircraft types in 148 scale and you can notice that the box size is quite large so here is comparison with my hand we have really beautiful box art and also on the side you will find the marking options so here is one set of the marking options and then if you flip it over you'll find more of those on the opposite side so in total there should be 15 of those but we will talk in detail when we will be checking the assembly manual now i suggest we open the box and it's quite easy thing to do because it's a top opening box as you can see and inside we have sprues in separate plastic bags so again i remind you that we are dealing here with a dual combo so it means or well, both aircraft um, have the separate set of parts but we will be checking only one set of parts because they are absolutely identical except of minor differences for the Mark 5B and Mark 5C. So I suggest we start with the clear sprue which is definitely the same for both aircraft and each sprue is packed into a separate ziplock bag so it's quite easy and quick thing to open just give me a moment and we will take a closer look at these clear parts. Straight away I can say that the, because we are dealing here with the limited edition it means that we also get in the pre-cut masks and this is really cool because you get a nice paint work or paint finish on your canopy without any additional time spent or uh, trying to cut all of these stickers. As you can notice the molding quality is really good of course we can open the canopy on this aircraft I think in 148 scale it's not even a question if we have such feature or not because it's a modern release and also overall design I would say is somewhat familiar to this one that is who already worked with the uh, Spitfire from Edward in 148 scale so I guess here they will feel like home next I'm opening the first plastic bag with a gray plastic spruce so here I will need a moment because uh, it will be interesting to find the differences between Mark 5B and Mark 5C now, I will be honest, I did not check the main differences between this aircraft, but as far as you can see, those should be the uh, wing installed cannons. So, for example, here you can see the first wing parts. And overall design is pretty much standard for such type of the model. So it means we have two top covers or two top panels and one lower panel. Flaps are pre-molded, ailerons are separate and we also have the separate panels for the ammo bay air intake, separate main wheel wells. And now I can show you the main difference between the Mark 5B and Mark 5C. So if I place these parts beside you can see this small uh, bulge uh, being present on one type of the parts and the same can be said about the top panel so if I place them like that here you can check the main differences between the top panels so that's the thing which will differentiate the Mark 5B and Mark 5C but I guess maybe there will be also something on the fuselage I just need to check the spruce well, the spruce look absolutely identical, so I guess here we have the right to show only two fuselage halves. But as you can see, these are quite nice parts. We have recessed panel lines and rivets, but we have also pre-molded top cooling section here and here. So you will have to be careful while joining all of this stuff together. And again, I was saying it in the previous video reviews, it would be better to have this uh, top cover as a separate section, especially considering that we have the suitable panel lines here. I'm not sure why it was decided to do the model this way. Even though Edward was actually selling the brassing part for this area. Next we also have some minor features inside, of course we have also guiding elements here but the main I would say portion of the cockpit features it will arrive once you install the cockpit sub-assembly because it gets in between the fuselage 
halves, obviously. So now for the next step, I need to open another plastic bag. Here we have two types of sprues, which are obviously supplied in a double set as well. So just give me a second. First one is dedicated to the propeller and also we have some external parts. So I will place it like that and let's zoom out a bit now you can see what we are talking about here so overall molding quality is really great we have some specific parts for the mark 5 for example some fuselage panels also exhaust stacks and some parts are really tiny here you can see comparison with my hand so do not underestimate this kit even though this is a 148 scale it also means that you have to work with the really tiny elements and here we have some guiding elements by the way for the tail wing which is assembled out of two halves but that's not all we have another uh, set of well pair of the Seymour spruce so just give me a moment I will place it right here so this one is dedicated to the external panels mostly we have the under fuselage fuel tank we have also these chin panels in several types we have also the ama bay covers so ending gear doors and all of this stuff looks really good out of the box and if I flip it over here you can see that we have uh, guiding elements in all necessary spots so I don't see any possible issue here it's just a matter of installing this stuff onto the right spot and i don't think it will be a difficult task either because from my experience when i was working with the mark 9 spitfire from edward it was a really nice experience of building the modern plastic kit with the modern technologies uh, used for the development so there are various design cues which actually help you with the assembly so now I'm going to open another plastic bag. I actually opened it, but I'm struggling to put another plastic spruce set aside. So here is the sprue. As you can see, this one is filled with the tail wings, which obviously will not be used. The same can be said about this uh, chin panel. Also the propeller hub, the landing gear we use. So um, in short, all of these parts are used on the later versions of the Spitfire, so that's why they will go into your spare parts box. They will not be employed in the current build, but still they are quite nice. And also it's a good chance to check them a bit closer. And one more sprue. Here we get some of the main cockpit parts, for example cockpit walls. Also we get the uh, front and rear walls and also instrument panel, various controls, some parts for the pilot seat. But here I should remind you that you can also get the original Bryson set, which is made out of resin obviously, but it completely replaces the original cockpit. And of course it offers way more features than the original plastic because it's a resin set and it will require some experience but in my opinion it's completely worth it especially in this size of the model so it will be noticeable and that's why i'm saying it's a worthwhile investment next we continue with the pe parts so because this is a limited edition we get pe parts included for both models as you can see this is a pre-painted sprue or a P fret and that means that we get some cockpit parts such as instrument panel side consoles seat belts all of this stuff will come handy for fine details on your aircraft next we have pre-cut masks so those are also I would say somewhat found in product for Edward as you can see these are pre-cut masks so they're ready to be used straight out of the box you don't have to do any extra actions you just take them out and apply on the Clio parts and it will give you a hassle-free finish let's say next we continue with another small P fret it was almost lost in the box but here it is in the separate plastic bag as you can see it's unpainted and I guess it will be needed for one of the marking options but we will see in the assembly manual but still we get one more thing to check and that's the decals sheets there are two of those actually three because we have one main and two for the stencils so that's why we have such distribution nevertheless it should be quite interesting to check those because again the size is quite large and i see in the recent releases that edward 
likes to produce the large or print large decal sheets and this one is not an exclusion from this rule so I will show in a second what I am talking about so here it is it is obviously bigger than the typical A4 so you should account for this and uh, from the first side I do not see any segmentation here so we get all the symbols combined together that's why you have to be careful while working with this stuff but overall printing quality is really good Edward does not disappoint in this area so it's just a matter of careful application and again I remind you that you can use two approaches with these decals because we have the covering layer or film and you can remove it but it will require some due experience because you can also easily damage it and then it will be <laughs> a really hard task to fix it okay next we have one more decal sheet so this one is dedicated to the stencils and it's quite interesting to see the date it's the 2020 so when the original release happened for the mark 1 and mark 5 edward speedfire kits and 148 scale but that's not all now we can check the assembly manual so this one is a large color printed brochure i'm just trying to zoom out maybe we should open the lenses a bit so here we have just like in any other limited edition from edward we have first the short history note with some photos which will provide you a bit more background on how spitfires were used on these war theaters then we continue with the parts map so blue color obviously means that these parts will not be used and they will stay in your spare parts box then we continue with the assembly manual so assembly process starts with the cockpit and be ready to work with the p parts straight away because they will be used in a cockpit in all possible areas i would say and again if you plan to replace the cockpit with the bryson kit then you can skip this stage and use the bryson manual instead so here we continue with the fuselage assembly as you can see there are some slight modifications in case you plan to build the closed canopy on your aircraft then we build the wing and we join wing and fuselage together here we install the air intakes on the wing and then we continue with the landing gear here we assemble the canopy parts and exhaust stacks and the next thing here is the bombs underwing next we have assembly manual for the mark 5c so this one is also for the tropical version well the overall sequence is pretty much the same so that's why i think it's not important to uh, pause here and check every step i think you get the idea but again the assembly manual from edward is usually really detailed so you won't have any issue here and next we continue with the masks application guide for both aircraft and then we start with the marking guides so here you can see the first two marking options for the mark 5b trop and next we continue with the mark 5b trop and just the simple one mark 5b so the main difference is in the wing also because we had the extended wing on the previous aircraft another mark 5b aircraft and this one is a trop obviously due to the camouflage it's easy to guess and the same can be said about this aircraft this one is also tropical and next we continue with the mark 5c this one is mark 5c trop and here we have pair of the mark 5c trop aircraft so i would say that for um, british aircraft it's something what you would expect from the camouflages obviously there are no uh, colorful nose arts but still we get some interesting marking options for example this mark 5c trop in a green color and the separate page is dedicated to the stenciling guide there are not that many of those but still they will be visible on the aircraft and of course we have different stenciling position for different aircraft versions so overall this kit looks a really good opportunity to build the mark 5b speedfire and mark 5c but again do not forget that this is a limited edition of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye